Hi, it's Chester at Blue Pecan Computer Training. And in this video, we're in Microsoft Word, and I want to show you how to start your page numbering on a specific page. So I have a college prospectus here. I don't want the page numbering to start on the title page, nor do I want it to start on page two. I want it to start on page three. So the way to set your document up so you can start your page numbering on a specific page is to add sections to your document. So sections allow you to have different page level formats like orientation and margins and columns, but also different headers and footers in different parts of your document. So the steps are that you click at the beginning of the page where you want your page numbering to start. You go to the layout tab of your ribbon, you go to the breaks button, and then under section breaks, click on continuous. Now that will create two sections within your document. You'll have a section above where you've clicked and a section below where you have clicked. Now you can always tell which section you're in by looking down on your status bar. You can see here it says section two. Now that information doesn't appear by default on your status bar. So what you have to do is right click down on the status bar and then select section here. So this page down to the bottom of the document is in section two, but above where we created our continuous section break is in section one. Now the next step is to go into the headers and footers. And the best way to do that is to make sure that you're in the print layout view. So if you go to the view tab here, you need to make sure the print layout is selected here. In print layout, you should be able to see your margins above your text, this white space here. If the white space doesn't appear for any reason and your document looks like this, then what you need to do is double click on that thin line there and it will show the margins. So if I double click up here, that will show the header and the footer for each page. Now we're going to put the page numbering in the footer. So I'm going to go down to the footer and you can see it says footer for section two, but it also says over here that this footer is programmed to be the same as the previous footer. So that's the footer for section one. Now I don't want that to be the case because I want the numbering to start in section two. If I put numbering into section two at the moment, then it will also put numbering into section one. So what I've got to do is unlink the section two footer from the section one footer. And to do that, you need to make sure you're on your header and footer tab on the ribbon and you click this button linked to previous and it'll actually do exactly the opposite to what it says it's going to do. It will unlink from previous. So once we've done that, we can put it in our page number. So header and footer tab on your ribbon, page number, current position, and I'm just going to go for plain number. Now you can see that the number starts at three because this is the third page in my document. So what I need to do is go back to the page number button and go to format page number. And I need to start it at one. So now if I scroll down through my document, you can see that the numbering continues down through that section. But if I go to the top of the document, you can see that there is no page numbering in section one. To come out of the header and footer, you can just click on the close header and footer button and you are done. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please subscribe and I'll see you next video.